So how much does it really cost to get your real estate license and enter into the real estate industry? Coming up. What's up guys, Steve with Steve Invest, helping real estate agents, real estate brokers achieve success in their real estate businesses with a path toward financial freedom. You know, I think one of the main reasons why so many people get their real estate license is because of the low cost to entry. And I know even as a poor college kid, I was able to scrounge enough money to go ahead and start my real estate career at a young age. And ultimately, I think the the low cost of entry not only allows a lot of people to enter into the real estate industry, but it almost oversaturates it with bad agents. So we're gonna talk about the actual cost, the, uh, the initial cost getting in, as well as the perpetual monthly cost that you can anticipate in getting your real estate license and entering into the real estate industry. Look, before we jump into it, just make sure that you, if you are contemplating on getting your real estate license, do it for the right reasons. You know, make sure that you have a plan. If you're gonna go into it part-time, that you have a plan to go into it full-time, and that you're gonna dedicate the necessary time and resources into growing your real estate business. Last thing you wanna do is put all this time, effort, energy, and money into getting your real estate license and getting established for it just to not work out. You know, at the end of the day, 87% of real estate agents fail within their five, first five years. So you don't wanna be part of that statistic. So anyway, let's jump into the costs. Initial costs, and this is gonna be on average over um, all the states within the United States. On average, uh, it's gonna cost you about $400 for your real estate schooling. Uh, the amount of hours is gonna change from state to state, but on average, it's about $400. Usually if you do online courses and not in classroom, uh, you can get that down uh, even, you know, maybe another $100. The second thing is I believe all the states have you do a background and application, and usually that's gonna run around $75, $85. The state exam, usually you're charged anywhere from $60 to $75. And remember, if you don't pass the state exam, uh, based in your state, then you're gonna have to go ahead and retake that test. So it could be another $75 every time you have to take that exam. And then some preliminary items that you're gonna need just for your overall marketing uh, and your business. I'd say a thousand business cards, that's probably gonna run you about uh, $75. Um, if you get four for sale signs right off the bat, you can figure about $300. And also if you got four uh, open house signs and you figure about $300 as well. Uh, total, that's about $1,225 to get started in the real estate industry. Now this is not gonna take in consideration the residual uh, monthly that you would have for some other expenditures that you can anticipate. Now, some of the ongoing costs that are gonna be necessary for your real estate business is signing up for a local real estate board. Uh, this is, uh, it's a must have. It's extremely important that you have access to the multiple listing system. Um, on average, you can figure about $65 a month. Uh, some of them will allow you to pay quarterly or even twice a year. Uh, the next couple of things, you gotta figure a website, figure around $25 a month. That should get you a basic website with um, IDX capability where your clientele can go there and search real estate, um, as well as a blogging platform and a CRM. So figure about $25 a month for that. Um, also, if you just figure basic admin and, and clerical costs of another $25 a month. And now one thing that I wanna talk about is a way to uh, get started with the lowest cost possible for the biggest return is essentially getting out and prospecting on a daily basis. So for another $60 a month, for example, a company like Red X, um, they can provide you the phone numbers for for sale by owners, expired listings, geographic areas for rent by owners, pre foreclosures for short sales. You want to check out that video as well. But uh, also, I'm going to put a link for the for uh, Red X. You'll get um, the initial fee waived. It's a $150 initial fee if you use that link. And uh, for about $60 a month, you can get some solid phone numbers to prospect on a daily basis, which would really ultimately jumpstart your real estate business. Now total, that's about $175 a month. So literally, what, what other business do you think you can get into that's gonna cost less than $2,000 to get in and less than $200 a month to potentially make six to even seven figures in real estate commissions 
um, a, on an annual basis. There really is no other comparable business that you can get into that would be such a low cost of entry to make the kind of returns and the kind of commission dollars that a lot of real estate agents do make. Uh, we are currently working on it, but when it is ready, I'm also going to put a link below um, and that's going to actually have a breakdown of all the every single state in the United States and the requirements. So we're going to put that in a chart format and I'll put a link below once that's ready as well. So again, if you're considering on getting your real estate license, the cost of entry is extremely low. Uh, just be sure that, again, you're getting into it for all the right reasons. Uh, make sure that you're getting into the business for yourself and for nobody else. Um, also make sure that you have a plan to go in. You really want to set up a plan to go full time into the business. So if you're going to go into, into the real estate industry in a part time basis, then just make sure that you have some sort of monetary plan to get you full time, say within four months or six months, make sure you have a deadline for that. Because the last thing you want to do is be part of that 87% statistic that fail within their first five years. So just make sure again that you, uh, you review this content, subscribe to this channel, Steve Invest. We have a lot of helpful uh, videos. Also the links below go to our, our set, uh, website where there's a lot of free content, a lot of free downloads there as well. It's going to help you in your real estate career. So my question for you is if you're considering getting your real estate license and there's a hurdle stopping you, what is it? Comment below, maybe we can help you out. Again, thanks for checking out this video. If you got one good thing, I appreciate you subscribing as we're gonna have more and more content and more and more videos coming at you guys every single week. Thanks a lot and I appreciate the support. See ya.